Welcome to the Cardano Block Explorer tutorial video. The Cardano Block Explorer provides a user-friendly way of exploring the transactions that occur in the Cardano blockchain. In this short tutorial, we'll use a test version of the Cardano Block Explorer. We'll learn how to search for epochs, slots, transaction IDs and wallet addresses using this free tool. If you have previously used Bitcoin's Block Explorer, transaction IDs and wallet addresses should be familiar to you. Epochs and slots, however, are probably new concepts. These differences arise out of Cardano's use of a revolutionary proof-of-stake algorithm called Ouroboros. Let's start by exploring the transaction fees. This is a list of transactions that have recently occurred in the Cardano blockchain. The first of these columns tells us the transaction ID. This is a unique code that identifies a particular transaction. Next to it, we have the time and date at which the transaction occurred, followed by the final column that shows the quantity of ADA that was transferred. If we want to learn more about any individual transaction, we can click on the transaction ID. In this screen, we can learn more information about this transaction, including from which wallet address the ADA was sent, as well as which address received it. From here, we can dig down one more level by clicking on the receiving address. This screen displays further information about the account, including its current balance. Let's return to the home page, where we'll see the Cardano specific terms, epochs and slots listed. In Ouroboros, ADA holders are randomly selected through a lottery and allocated to a specific time slot. During this time slot, they are given the opportunity to produce a new block and update the blockchain. When this time slot passes, the opportunity expires and passes on to a new ADA holder who has been selected for the next slot. Just like with minutes and hours, after a certain number of slots have passed, we enter into a new epoch, resetting the slot number to zero and beginning the lottery again. The last slots table you can see here gives us information about the activity that has occurred in the Cardano blockchain in the most recent epoch for each of the most recent slots. This column tells us that in our current epoch and slot, there have been two transactions that have taken place. If we return to the home page, at the top, we can see a search bar that allows us to search for a transaction by entering one of these as a search term. If I paste in the transaction ID, which we were looking at earlier, we're taken back to the details page where we can see all the details of this transaction. The Cardano Block Explorer is a useful tool to navigate the Cardano blockchain. Whilst Cardano is in its testing phase, all transactions are for demonstration purposes only, and no real funds are at risk. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and will spend a few minutes examining the Cardano Blockchain Explorer's features. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below, and feel free to share this with your friends and family.